Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing fabulous. My name is Nisha and I love fragrances. Today I wanted to come and bring you my designer fall lineup. Now a lot of you love your designer fragrances. It's readily available, it's easy to find and all that good stuff and it's affordable. Did I say that? Did I say affordable? <laughs> so if you wanna see my fall lineup, please stay tuned. So guys, as I said before, fall is one of my favorite times of the year. It's my birthday time. And also I love the whole vibe of fall. Now I am a summer baby, I love the heat, but there's something special about fall. I don't know what it is, there's a vibe. So these fragrances I would pull for in the fall time, but you know, fall is not very cold, but it's not hot at the same time. The temperature is perfectly, perfectly balanced so these are the fragrances i chose and the first one that i love for the fall is ombre leather from tom ford now a lot of people might think this is masculine i do not think so for one minute this is so freaking sexy guys this smells so different on my husband than it does on me to me it pulls more sweet it's it has a feminine touch to it it's it's so unisex it's it's so beautiful guys this has leather of course but this leather to me is not a very skanky leather it is leather if you don't like leather you may not like this but it's not a, a skanky leather it's a nice smooth leather you have cardamom to the top so they add some spices to this so cardamom leather we have jasmine guys we have some amber musk and patchouli this to me is so unique it's so daring it's so gorgeous you know so, fall time when you have on your leather jacket your nice big scarf and your boots and you're just walking through the like to the three to, <laughs> to through the trees and you're hearing that leaf crunching underneath your feet and the nice crisp air this fragrance works perfectly so i really enjoy wearing tom ford ombre leather now this is not the newer version this is the older one i much prefer i find this one is stronger and smells better on me i have tried it but i prefer this one so this is ombre leather i think this is a 2018 version absolutely beautiful next i hauled this last year and i haven't really gotten to weigh too much and this is from chanel and this is sycamore i freaking love this fragrance this fragrance is so unique. Mm. This is perfect. This has vetiver, cypress, juniper, spice, sandalwood. We have some tobacco, a little bit of pink pepper, aldehydes, and violet. This to me is such a nice woody fragrance. It's very unique. I have nothing like this in my collection. It's so unique that you have people asking you, what is that? Because it's not a scent profile that people are used to. It's not your generic scent. It's quite beautiful and it's nice and woody and aldehydic and it has those spices, guys. I really, really enjoy sycamore. And quite honestly, my husband too, he's so fussy. And when I wore this, as I said, when I just reviewed this, this guy had a full conversation about this fragrance, how it's so different, how it's so nice and all that good stuff. So this is Sycamore and I absolutely love this for the full time. Next, we have one of my all time favorites. This is Gucci Guilty Absolute. I love this when there's a little chill in the air. This works perfect even in the winter months. Now you could wear this in the summer as well, but I find it, oh my goodness. This fragrance brings back so much memories. Oh my goodness. It's amazing how you can just pull a cap off and you are transported to many years ago. Oh my gosh. Oh, such fun memories of this fragrance. This opens up with a blast of blackberry. We have pink pepper and bergamot. Then we have cypress, Bulgarian rose, woody notes, vetiver and in the base we have indian patchouli and amber this fragrance to me is so sensual it's so sexy it lasts long i mean this is a designer but this thing performs okay it lasts it projects it gathers compliments i absolutely love this there's something intoxicating about this oh yes so i love to wear this in the cooler weather now as i said people love this for the summer and all that 
it's fine but to me it shines when it's a little bit cooler so that's gucci guilty absolute from gucci this other fragrance here this my friends you gotta go easy on this this is a beast i have worn this so much and you can't even see a dent because i literally have to put like three sprays this will punch you in the face this is blueberry black this is ambery it's woody it's juicy it's amazing this the longevity in this is insane and it projects i think mason francis kirk john made this fragrance so this fragrance opens up with jasmine but to me the prominent note of this in the opening it's peach there's a blast of peach there's some rose but not too much i get more peach yeah the peach is blended nicely with the rose i don't get jasmine really if it, you know it's probably just slightly but i really can't pick it up and then amber and patchouli this is so so deep even though it has that peach for the fresh freshness i feel it's dark so it has that peach but it's there's a darkness about this a kind of mysterious vibe about it and i really like it and this projects and it lasts this will light up a room so this is my blueberry black and to me i don't wear this in the summer even though as i said it has that peach note this is to me colder weather because this year is strong so my blueberry black for one of my picks this other beauty is my LaBelle, and this is the original. Now, I could have chosen the Intense, but that one is for the winter, okay? The more colder weather. This one projects nicely in the nice chill when it's outside, you know, for the fall. The nice air outside and the wind and all that, this. Oh my goodness, guys, this is so pretty. If you don't like this, I don't know what's wrong with you. Guys, this has pear. It has bergamot. It has some floral notes. They said it has leather. I don't pick up any leather in this. Vanilla, vetiver, amber, and musk. So beautiful, so feminine, so sexy, so crowd-pleasing. And this baby here lasts very long, and it projects. It's so, oh my God, it's so gorgeous. So I chose the original. As I said, it's not as heavy as the other one, and I think it will perform better in the fall time. So yeah, this one is La Belle, the original one, just the original La Belle so gorgeous for the fall and summer as well okay up next we have this beauty can you tell how much i love her look where the dent is in this but this has the most beautiful at atomizer that it tricks you so you think nothing's coming out so you just douse yourself because look at that look look at that mm. oh my god inside it smells so good mm. this is so gorgeous when I first smelled this, this was not a love at first sniff. I blind bought this because I heard of the hype. Oh, let me fix myself. I heard the hype and I blind bought it. I came home and I'm like, I'm not even smelling anything. What's the big hype? I could hardly smell this. And then after a few wearings, I went in and my goodness, one day it just hit me. I'm like, whoa, this thing is gorgeous. I wore this and I got so many compliments on this. You think it's a very soft fragrance, but there's a nice scent bubble and people will smell you. There's something warm and inviting about this fragrance. This opens up with a blast of plum. You get a little pink pepper and some bergamot. So there's a plum with a slight brightness. The pink pepper is just there a little bit. You don't really, it doesn't really do not much. Then the musk, the, it's all about the musk and we know how Narciso does his musk. So there's musk, there's the rose. You definitely get the rose in this. Tuberose and vanilla. Absolutely fluffy, gorgeous musk. So beautiful, so, so beautiful. Oh my God. As I said, it was not love at first sniff, but then I got the hype. She's stunning. And guys, you see how much I've worn? I really, I should have gotten the big bottle, but I couldn't find it at that time. But this is definitely a keeper in my collection moving on to another one that I fell in love with and I when I just bought it I gave it a rest and then I'm like girl you need to pull it out some more I would only pull this out kind of like on date nights on evenings and all that but this baby right here this is C intense I love this one this is so beautiful it is sexy this is date night this is long lasting Mm. Yeah. 
there's something about this when you just spray it there's a little bit of tartness a little bit of mouth wateringness you know like when you smell that your mouth water guys this is so beautiful let me give you the notes it's what it is that black currant i absolutely love black currant and this is not regular black currant this is black currant syrup so it's black currant you know black currant has that tarty sweet kind of vibe but it's syrupy so it's a very sweet fragrance there's the uh there's turkish rose there's divana you know i don't like divana and i don't pick it up in here thank goodness it has benzoin so you get that kind of resinous kind of vibe and patchouli guys listen this is so intoxicating this projects and it lasts i was testing this out before i bought it and I played with it a few times and I'm like, damn, no, Nisha, you have to get this. And I hunted this down because I couldn't find the 100 ml. In Canada at that time, they were only 50 ml. And I got the 100 ml just to match my other bottles like this, okay? I had to get them matching because that would have driven me insane. This is so gorgeous. And for the fall time, I like this for date nights. It's so sexy and alluring and mysterious. And when it's a little bit nippy outside, this would work perfectly so see intense it's intense but you know the french say intense i'm not french okay people people come at me for not pronouncing it. girl listen if you can't speak english i don't come for you telling you but you can't speak english properly I, i'm not a french speaker so i try and that's all i can do see intense okay by armani moving on girl you know i had to talk about this one and this is Hot Couture by Givenchy. Listen, EDT people, EDT, not the EDP. I keep saying that because some of you buy the EDP and say like, I don't like it. I don't like the EDP either. I like the EDT. Guys, this is one sexy. I don't know. I'm going to start sneezing. I don't know what about this fragrance. It's so alluring and it's so sexy. This opens up raspberry. It has some spices strawberry magnolia rose tuberose vetiver amber incense and musk maybe the vetiver gives it a little bit of that smokiness maybe woodiness it is anyway there's this kind of smokiness about it i can't explain i'm trying to explain how this is but it's like guys this is readily available go test it out there's something seductive about this fragrance when i smell it I'm like wow when I wear this I feel sexy now this is an old fragrance this has been out for a while but it just hits it this just hits different and I love it it's so so beautiful so this is hot couture I'm really loving this fragrance and for the fall time yes baby I'll be wearing this this is really sexy guys try this if you've tried it what do you think about it I think it's damn good. Just my opinion. What next? What next? Oh, this one. I don't really give you much love, but this is perfect for the fall. And this is Chloe Nomad. Oh, this is a very unique fragrance. I would not say blind by this. You need to try it. Because I remember when I first smelled this, I was like, what the hell is that? I did not like it at all. But then after, I'm like, wow this is really nice this is as i said is a very unique fragrance very unique mm. it opens up with a bunch of citruses there's some peach you pick up the peach gems jasmine and rose but in the base this has some oak moss it has some woody notes there's some sandalwood and some um white musk as i said this is very unique and it's it's quite different so I wouldn't suggest you blind buy this. Try it out first because this may not be everybody's love. But this is perfect for the fall time because of that oak musk and that agar wood gives it a nice and that, that sandalwood. It has a nice woody base, but the top is a little bit fresh and it's just it's really hard to describe. Yeah, so this is Chloe Nomad, a really good fragrance for the fall time. So we have flower bomb i have the pretty package in here now the little chicka 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 guys flower bomb is just that girl she's just so pretty how could you not like her let me take this out because it'll be shaken how could you not like her now this was a big hit when it was just 
released, but it is so good. It's undeniably good. How could you not? Flower Balm is beautiful. It just has that enough sweetness and everything. And for the fall, it's gorgeous. Now this to me, I could wear this all year round. But for the fall time, I think it's pretty. If you want a little bit of sweetness, because fall time, you know, it's more woody and resinous and all that. But some days you want to brighten it up and kick it up a notch. You wear this. This has tea. So it has a very strong tea note. A lot of people don't say this has tea, but it has a very strong tea note. Bergamot and Osmanthus, right? So in the mid, we have Orchid, Jasmine, Rose, Freesia, African Orange Flower, Patchouli, Musk, and Vanilla. This is a very floral, sweet, very sweet fragrance with that prominent tea note, in my opinion. This lasts long. It projects and it's beautiful. It's that girly girl fragrance. It's that crowd pleasing fragrance. Everybody's going to love it. They'll be like, oh, you smell so pretty. So yeah, it's one of those and she good. She's just good. Up next, which one do I have? I think I have one more. I really like this fragrance. Now I used to own the original. I spoke about this and this one is called, let me see if I could find the name, bro. Oh, Utopia, Euphoria Deep. So this is just a deeper version, as it says, of Euphoria. Mm. This smells so pretty. I, I remember loving Euphoria. Is it Euphoria? Yeah, Euphoria. This was my jam. Now this fragrance, if you know, this lasts so long, this will fill a room, okay? So this is just a little deeper version, a little bit richer more intoxicating version of euphoria and i think it would work so perfect in the fall time now i don't know if this is discontinued because i got this and the cheap cheap like i paid like 20 bucks for this at shoppers drug mart they're on sale so i grabbed it so if you have it you know what i'm talking about this is quite nice and i could honestly say these euphoria these calvin Kleins, last a long time and they project they, they work really well. So I like wearing this one. Well, I think I will be wearing it for the fall. I wore it in the summer, you know. This was my summer thing, but I think it will work really nice in the fall time because it's so airy and nice, but it has a little depth to it. So guys, these are the fragrances that I chose for fall in my designer lineup. Now I do have a niche as well. So if you're looking at this one first, go check my niche out. And if you're watching my niche, come check my design. <laughs> if you're not yet subscribed, please, what are you waiting for? Help me reach my goal, which is 10,000 for this year. By the end of this year, I want to hit 10,000. Please share my videos, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And check me out on Instagram and TikTok, where we have lots of fun doing some goofy stuff. And until next video, guys, be safe, be kind, and smell fabulous. Bye now.